A warm namaste and a big hello to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this collective reading. Here we are going to go through a message that's for all of you people who are on the ascension journey. You could be resonating with twin flames, star seeds, light workers. And this reading may or may not resonate a hundred percent with you so already even before i started three cards have fallen down and i'm gonna keep it as a sign because i've not even started speaking i would be using multiple decks i would be using kippers tarot unicorn cards even ascension cards just to get the message and i have my own 1000 cards here the first card that fell down on its own is Ten of Swords. This uh, definitely shows me a very unhappy person who is tired, who has given up completely. And I see the inverted King of Swords, like the reversed King of Swords and the Hanged Man also at the same time. And this is being shown to me in progression. Let's just see what all is there with this, with these cards. Oops. Oh my god. So hmm. So energetically there's a lot happening actually. With every card that I've picked up, like the ones that fell down, I have taken out three more cards with each, and the scene here is madness, total madness. So I do see someone very unhappy, someone who's given up, someone who's tired. Someone who is also working through their addiction patterns. They've gone through a heartbreak or they're currently also going through a heartbreak. But at the same time, this person is also working on themselves. It's not like they're not working on themselves. They are doing some kind of inner work. Then I do see the distorted masculine and see the cards of the distorted masculine. Look at the cards. I mean, these type of cards, all three cards are like this, okay? So there is uh, the energy stealer, the energy vampire, the sneaky energy vampire. There is a sad depression kind of an energy. There's a lot of regret, fallen cups, focus towards what's gone, the past. And there is this conflict conflicted energy but when i look at the surrender the hanged man there's a slightly different story over there which i'll come to later so let's see what other cards i have over here from the auto writing deck You had given them multiple advices with the purest intention, but they didn't listen to you. Wow. Now, this is the energy of someone around you. Okay. And they are going through a mix of emotions, multiple emotions, but you are somehow connected with this person. This could also be something that will materialize more clearly in future for you. Or this could have already happened for you or for some people it could be ongoing right now. It's a timeless reading. Now you had, you have some kind of a relationship with this person where you give them advices. And your intention is very pure towards this person. Like you really care for this person. You want them to do well. And you want them to be happy. You want them to grow and progress. But this person seems to be like very much in stuck up energy they are not stepping out from that energy because there are so many cards repeatedly saying the same thing now first of all they have certain kind of addiction patterns and due to this addiction pattern they have probably they had probably in the past attracted some person or they keep attracting the same type of people over and over again okay they have not yet got on 
or reach to the point where they have figured out what exactly the problem is what is the issue with them and uh, this person is sad depressed heartbroken this person feels very betrayed uh, and they feel like uh, they feel like taking some step they are also working towards it but what they see in you is a very mature woman a very mature woman who they kind of look up to they talk to you the auto reading cards have given me a lot more about their connection with you actually and uh, somehow this person when they got into your energy zone at that time they came to you because they thought they wanted you to be around them like a distraction ओके सही मायने में इट्स ए सही मायने में वो आपके साथ नहीं जुड़े थे सही मायने में एट दैट टाइम इट वाज मोर लाइक एन अट्रैक्शन मोर लाइक दे थॉट इट वुड बी अ गुड डिस्ट्रैक्शन एंड दे वुड काइंड ऑफ हैव सम टाइम पास काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन एंड इट वाज नॉट रियली अ ट्रू इमोशन लाइक इट वॉज नॉट लाइक दे रियली केयर फॉर यू एंड दे रियली फेल समथिंग फॉर यू बट someone who calls who cares about others in a beautiful way kind they saw you as a very kind person they see you as a very kind person it's an ongoing thing and somehow you also have had this emotion around you that you feel sad about the fact that you've not really met someone who can love you wholeheartedly completely so there is some reason that you guys have connected with each other but your energy is very protected you got a shield around you a shield of protection your aura is very strong and uh, this person but this person is looking for a hide out they are actually running away from a lot of things but they put their mind into their work or they do certain things to uh, keep them busy or you know just not go through this feeling that they have been going through uh, they like you a lot they love your nature they find you to be a peaceful person peaceful always doesn't mean that you are just sitting quietly with this person peaceful actually means that when this person is in your presence they are very relaxed they are very calm they don't get to know how time passes by when they're talking to you or when they're in your energy zone but they have this uh mind you know they they kind of probably drain your energy in some way because they're always talking about their problem their heartbreak to you it seems to me that they are not without a problem most of the times while what you want is someone to just be chill about these things not focus so much on these these problems all the time uh both of you can actually benefit from solar plexus healing the the manipur chakra healing now what this person likes about you is that there is a kind of a paradox with this person or there is a kind of irony with this person now on one hand while they have been going through some kind of heartbreaks addiction patterns and you know they are very sad and they are very unhappy and all of that but on the other hand this person is also a sort of a casanova or a player or they are like kind of someone who likes to be around others so maybe not maybe probably they saw you or met you or connected with you for the same reason so yes they do act like a person who doesn't care about other people's feelings or emotions and they also go through a state of guilt like they have the energy they have is not fully healed it's a distorted energy but then also it's not a bad person it's not a person who is evil or conniving like if you're going to tell them your problem if you're going to ask them to be with you or you just have to say it to them like you have to ask them that's one thing about this person you have to ask them you have to tell them to do certain things for you and they'll do it they'll actually do it for you i'm being shown that for you they will do it okay that's that's the level of liking they have for you okay 
uh, they want to treat you very nicely they want to treat you with respect although this is uh, the cards some of the cards are very like warped and all but the energy seems to be a bit warped but they they do see you as a lover like they may not be telling you about this because they have too much going on in their life or they are still trying to figure out something but deep inside their heart they do see you as someone special someone who matters to them someone they are very much attracted to very much drawn to someone they want to pamper they want to take you out to different places they want to show you around some places you bring change in their energy you bring something nice in their energy they they feel like uh, you add value in their life they do want to get you into the courtship zone but i don't think looking at their energy they are ready for it right now while you are actually also working on your profession or career so you do see this person as a hindrance because every time they come around you they will say something or they will do something that will be a bit distracting for you like as much as they saw you would be a good distraction from all of their problems but you don't want that type of distraction in your career or in your work or in your mission or whatever that you're doing maybe even in your work you do see this person sometimes as if universe is testing you testing you out now while this person cannot get enough of you they got their focus on you and they really like you when i ask how what they feel for you and what more actually uh they actually want to run away with you to some place somewhere they also see you as a very established person someone who is independent attractive independent as in financially especially they see you as someone who is making a lot of money doing really well for herself very inspiring they see you as a nature lover also they see you as a compassionate person if you're a male watching this then obviously it's the opposite sex for you if you're a woman watching this then it's the man for you so please uh, understand it like that only because i'm not doing a gender specific reading they also see you as someone uh, who adds value in their life ace of cups ace of cup also means a romantic offer so they do see you as a new suitor as a partner in fact they see you as someone they can ask out and they can be in a relationship with and they want to basically get into a very solid relationship with you they don't want to do a casual relationship with you i mean they can actually do many things for you for your attention for your affection but i think there are some behavioral problems or some like nature related things but there's a lot of love i can already feel a lot of love maybe this relationship needs healing you need to heal yes of course they do see you as uh, once again very confident not only they see you as a confident person but you also i mean you also add confidence in their energy i mean before meeting you they were probably feeling a certain way but even with the fact that you are interested in them or you talk to them or you hang out with them or you spend time with this person or whatever it is you giving importance to them that also gives you uh gives them a feeling of like i must be really nice that such a nice person is into me they actually see everything that you are doing like whatever is happening between you and them they see it as you being interested in them and you being interested in them makes them feel kind of nice about them because 
probably you are one of the finest so far they've met they've met a lot of people i'm sure they met a lot of attractive people in the past also but you are really something else for them you stand out you are uh, really intelligent very wise very successful according to them uh so all these cards these cards are quite like a they emphasize a lot on the romance part celebration friendship hmm there is also a love triangle <laughs> interestingly there's a love triangle also because they are already probably involved with someone else with whom they are not happy with which is so clear from the cards they are not happy with that person they are so miserable with that person with you they are very happy but they they probably need to know but they want to ask you out also but they are scared that you're going to say no like this they know that you're going to say no but still they want to ask you out so i think they are already devising in their mind some kind of a plan they are trying to hack a plan maybe they are waiting for more time to pass they want to know a little bit more about you okay so this person is definitely acting in some sneaky ways also which you don't like you don't like their sneaky behavior you don't like all of the mind games they are playing with you cuz they are not taking responsibility properly they are not cleaning the mess they are into but they want something from you first like they want some kind of assurance maybe they want to in their heads they are saying what if i lose that one also and and i lose this one also which is what is very selfish about them which is what i don't like uh, personally as a person when i'm doing the reading also i don't like this type of energy it's not an honest energy there is dishonesty so this person is dishonest with you uh, first of all they are not showing to you clearly that they feel a lot for you which they do inside their heads in their hearts they feel a lot more than what they are showing to you they are playing sort of a game they are they are taking the steps very carefully and there is also a, a sort of competition they like to defeat you in their arguments or in their talks or uh, every time you are like more overpowering or you are uh, in control of a situation because this person is they definitely have an addiction pattern of being in control or trying to take control of the situation um victory through deceit you know oops so many cards fell at one time so this is the reason why i think they are facing problems because they are also going through regret because every time they do this type of behavior towards you they show this type of behavior they project all of this competition distortion uh as i just said not being honest with you you kind of move away like you have been moving away from this person as per what i have been told your energy that i picked up you don't want to get into this zone you don't want to get into this type of uh, negative energy you don't want to get into this type of zone which is so like confusion filled with confusion confusion laden you want peace you want to be relaxed okay your energy is more like the the hanged man surrender you have put some restrictions because you want to protect your energy you don't want your energy to dissipate cuz you got lot of work i can sense uh, that you are not the type of person who wants to fool around with someone and that's why you're taking care of yourself you're taking care of yourself despite a lot of uh, nice things that i can sense like the cards were telling me that this person makes you happy in some ways this person you also like their company you find them to be attractive and you do get distracted but you don't want to so what i see from your side is that you're very clear about what you want you are totally surrendered to source you want communion with god source and you feel that this person's energy is they are not helping you they are not helping your case 
you also see this person as someone who is creating illusions like they are giving you some kind of messages where at one point they show you a lot of affection a lot of concern a lot of care but at the on the other hand they are also trying to show to you that they are not interested they don't belong to you like this person cannot choose a side and stick to it this person is playing very smart and this person is very codependent like a relationship which is literally so unhealthy for them which is so negative for them they are hanging on to that relationship because it gives them a sense of control or that relationship connects them with the societal societal world maybe the sansaric reality the 3d reality whereas the relationship with you is very 5d uh, if not 100% 5d in some cases then definitely it is more spiritual it is more loving they are uh, really comfortable around you very relaxed around you this person feels at home with you but still they are not uh, 100% sure because they got this this energy they got this energy which is weak it is not it is not a strong man it is it is opposite of king of swords reverse king of swords king of swords the most important thing about this card is authority and this man lacks authority he doesn't have his own personal authority and due to this lack of personal authority they are constantly like jumping here and there here and there because they don't know of course if they work on themselves if they truly work on themselves it can it can be fine like let me just reshuffle all the cards now because we got like a lot of stuff on this now let's just reshuffle and let's see what do we have in future or moving on what is the possibility provided i mean for me i'm going to ask taro if you do your inner work if you continue to do your inner work if you continue to walk on the same path because the cards that came for you surrender restrictions protection of energy and not wanting to get into the field of illusion it's actually a very smart uh, way of living i mean we all should do that we should protect ourselves from energy dissipation and energy drainage and of course it is creating definitely it's creating distraction for you maybe in your work in your responsibilities in your overall mood maybe you feel uh, that you're not confident enough on one hand this person feels confident being around you while you are not feeling confident when you spend time with them with all of the problems that they bring on the table and with all of the confusion they show to you it makes you feel like you don't you're not that nice you're not that amazing because this person is making you feel like you're just one time pass you know something they are just killing their time with so let's see what's the progression the lovers just popping out so many times Okay, this one popped out on its own. King of Wands. Three, four, five, six. Since I asked like specific question, the situation definitely changes over here. The future, starting from now, like from here on, uh, things actually change. In uh, look at every single card. This is the first one. Then we got the Page of Swords. Then we got the ace of swords then we got the queen of wands then we got seven of wands they definitely going to fight for you and then knight of swords had knight of swords been around negative cards then things would have changed completely because this person is going to work on their masculine energy the authority part of it especially and king of wands is also very calm composed kind of masculine energy i think it's also a mirroring of your energy because you're not going to spend time on this person a lot you're going to simply focus on making money you're going to focus on your career because for you that's the 
those are the cards that kept popping up over and over again again and again okay so you are continuing to do your work you're continuing if you're in business then you'll do business wholeheartedly if you are in a job then you'll definitely work on on it if you are very focused on your inner work then you'll continue to do inner work and you're not going to get distracted by the negative energy that this person has been giving to you despite whatever love and affection and moments of love and affection they give to you the king of wands then connects them with their authority figure like on your side it brings you more money a windfall of money but on their side it acts like authority a change of authority shift in authority and then we see the page of swords page of swords sometimes also talks about settling down of the inner negative energy the demons inside your mind they kind of settle down with this energy in some cases it also means that they've gone away forever because page of swords is very vigilant mentally very vigilant got a lot of clarity page of swords page of swords yes uh, they would probably do some legal stuff also maybe a legal defense would follow through the situation that they are in this card also talks about getting an attorney or getting a the right person for you but then this card is a positive card because it talks about better ideas like earlier this person was so negative so unhappy but i see your energy and energy shift in you provided if you do your inner work as i said this person's energy is more like they'll get new ideas they'll have a childlike freedom uh they will have strong will lot of strong will and courage they would take a stand for you they would fight it out for you that type of energy they show to me especially if they realize like when they realize very clearly that you're not uh, in for hanky panky stuff <clears throat> you're not there for time pass you're not there for any uh, nonsense situation ace of swords give them a mental clarity it's also good for their luck maybe whatever situation they are into it gets sorted out on its own and there is uh, sort of new ideas an aha moment for this person even for you uh, both of you are connected mental stimulation i mean they will they will be they will be getting the clarity with this energy once it it shifts into their uh, energy periphery then they will this energy will transmute it their energy it will transmute it for sure because after that we have the queen of wands which is a very independent energy very loving very independent but also very confident with the heel solar plexus energy lot of confidence coming from the red in the background but just the way queen of wands is you know like it's like coming together of masculine and feminine energy it shows me the blended energy there's a sunflower in her hand there's a wand in the other there's a black cat in front which talks about uh, you know more collaboration with your spiritual side by this time when you connect with your spiritual and your uh, the mysterious side of you queen of wands is not someone who everyone can handle actually so this person has to become like worthy of you big time because queen of wands is like really hot woman and because it's appearing in their reading also this is someone who is putting all of their energy into manifesting their dream i mean i have always said that you don't need to manifest anything everything is already pre manifested but we need to become a vibrational match to whatever we are looking for so if this person believes in love if this person believes in you and them together if they are just they have just gone through a lot in life then they also need to be a vibrational match to this kind of a woman this type of a woman or this type of a male if you are a man watching this then obviously you know there's a woman on the other side who has to work hard for you and leave her problems behind okay then we have the seven of wands i think this person would have to convince uh, whosoever is listening you will have to because by this time by the time all of this is happening i don't think you are detached from this person i don't think you are 
completely away from this person though you are very strong but it's not easy to go through this type of process with another person because i don't see you guys going away as such i mean that is not happening you you're going to be doing your things they're going to be doing their things but finally this 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 moment of truth will come where they have to take a stand they have to be assertive they have to be very bold they have to give it a good fight otherwise i don't think uh, anything can go ahead in future this is this is what they're going to do also i mean this is also coming as a progression this person will reach to a point where they are going to show a lot of courage i mean if they have to win this battle then they have to engage fully they have to build up a strong footing i mean it cannot be it cannot be just yeah i will do it if it's needed that type of attitude won't be there which probably they do have at present moment i see it i mean presently they presently it's a combination presently it's nice and it's not so nice sometimes but then boom i see a big uh, energy shift in them they'll push forward really hard there will be a lot of aggression bold communication you know uh, they will be saying a lot of truth there will be some kind of debating i mean this person is going to get heard even for you as a person like for you if i look at the mirroring angle then you're also going to be very bold by this time very bold and very clear yeah i mean there is a goal there could be some intensity over here there could be some kind of very aggressive strategies i mean this is going to be fun for whoever who goes through this this is going to be a fun situation uh a, there will be kind of a crusade there will be like a truth seeking you know like what's the true feeling actually and what is it leading to so yes there is someone around you who is stuck in some kind of a pattern some kind of a miserable relationship or miserable condition or situation which they are not uh they are not getting out of it like or they are very like st- scared of it or they are not being bold but with time things will change but you have to continue doing your inner work and you have to be very thorough with yourself because if you going to be doing inner work lots of things will shift and if you want to do therapy work with me releasing 3d blocks third party blocks karmic release chakra therapy i mean chakra therapy is not a course that i give instantly to anyone you'll have to first work on narcissistic abuse patterns releasing those and for some people uh, who are doing their own inner work since a long time now 3d to 5d could also be a good uh, option very good option because then when you when you're doing the transitional work then also you release a lot of negative energy a lot of patterns that are stuck in your system upgradation of your dna healing of your dna all of that basically you get the hand holding you can also get into an energy reading with me you can get either the twin flame astrology reading or you can get into the intuitive reading tarot plus intuitive reading where you can ask questions so i will see you in the next video one love peace out and jai shri ram